welcome back to another episode of Prepared Man with myself, Prepared Man. Today, I've picked up a little gadget from the local DIY shop, and I'm going to show you what cool things we can get up to with our friend, the Butane Torch. So ladies and gents, as you can see, this is just a small Butane Torch, perfect for carrying with you in everyday scenarios. Uh, it can be used for such menial tasks as finishing the tops of your creme brulees, but it can also be used for various other things. Now, I've got a couple of items here which I prepared earlier, and we're going to see what our friend Mr. Butane Torch does to them. So if the camera could come a little bit closer, we'll see what we can do. What we have here is Blue Tack, Commoner Garden, or indeed a stationary cupboard. <laughs> Right, uh, we've got a few pieces of metal. We've got a, uh, a queen, a queen on the five pence and a queen on the one pence. Uh, we have a bit of a plastic bag. We've got a trusty banana and we've got a couple of ice cubes. I wonder what will happen to those. Right, so the first thing to do is make sure that your butane torch is full. This is my preferred brand, Ball brand. Very good, very, very good, very powerful, very potent. Uh, so. Oh, we fill them up and you hear the pop, that's all you need. We set the torch a blowing. As you can see, nothing... Oh, oh, there we go. So, that's what happened to that. Now let's go for the uh, plastic bag. I should be wearing my gloves, but I'm going to hold them down with my newly sharpened knife. Oh, look at that, now see. The plastic shrivel, shrivel, shrivel. Very scared of the fire. Shrivel, very scared. Oh, scared of the fire. <sighs> bit, of, bit of flames there, bit of flames, but that's all right. Oh, scared, scared, scared of the flames. Very hot. Right, okay. Oh, listen to that. Can you hear that? Oh, bit of a pop, bit of a, bit of a caramelization going on top there. This is not a cooking show, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we are melting ice before your eyes. Entertainment, as always, on the Prepared Man Show. Many uses, Arctic survival situations. There will be a video on Arctic survival coming up within the next few weeks. Very, very good fun out there. Now, I will turn the Queen's head over because we don't want to burn the Queen. God bless her. God bless the Queen. Interesting, interesting stuff. Let's turn him up a bit. Oh, goodness gracious. Right. Really going to try and melt this down. This can be used in many survival situations. Melting off handcuffs, melting your way through doors, that kind of stuff. <sighs> so ladies and gentlemen, that was the butane pen torch, very useful as you saw, particularly effective on the plastic bags which were very, very scared of the flames indeed, fingers crossed, the next time you encounter terrorists they will be plastic bags, but if they're not, fear, fear not indeed. Oh look, we seem to have burnt the canvas there, that's not a problem, not an issue. Okie dokie ladies and gents, one last thing before we finish, um, I've just got here um, half an apple pie, uh, that's my half already eaten, this is Chris's half, he's going to have a little go later on. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get a bit of sugar on top, on top of our uh, pie here and we're going to see just what the, uh, the old butane torch can do in the kitchen. Okie dokie ladies and gents, listen for the hiss. That means we're cooking with gas, butane gas to be specific. So, we get the flame, we apply it to the sugar and watch it melt. Look at that caramel forming on the top there. Oh, I'll tell you something Chris, I could really be a TV chef, you know, I think, I think that'd be just, just fine. So as the flame dies away, oh I wish you could smell this at home ladies and gentlemen, really, really I do, that is... Well, ladies and gents, that was our little episode on the Butane Torch. Thanks very much for watching. As always, thank you to everyone in the police and armed forces. God bless you. God bless Chris. Not now. God bless, God bless the Queen. Uh, and remember... Always be prepared. Chris.